We found out about the armor coding situation on Thursday that there will be armor coding in Halo Infinite and it is going to basically replace primary and secondary colors. At the end of the day, it takes away choice from the players. Well, a lot of us missed this, but Unishek actually tweeted out the day after on Friday, the 23rd, about this whole situation. I want this to get retweeted to Unishek as much as possible. I want to make this perfectly clear where we're coming from. I'm going to try and be as civil as possible throughout this little segment because I want him to understand why I'm calling his bluff because a lot of this just seems like a PR spin to me. October 23rd, 2020 at 7.26 PM, he wrote up this entire thread. So let's take a look. I'm seeing a decent amount of confusion around codings out there. So I wanted to jump in and address some of the common talking points thread below. First off coding and therefore colors can only be purchased. Sad face. I don't think anyone was saying that they could only be purchased. I don't even think I said that in my video, you know why they moved to the armor coding system. So they, they can put it in with their toys so they can put it in with their packaging and they can put it in with their marketable food items. They want you to go buy those things so that way they, you get something out of it. No, that is not the case. There will be all kinds of customization items, including coatings that can be earned in game and earned as special rewards. Will there be purchases? Sure. Is that the only way? Absolutely not. Now, I don't think anyone has spread that as misinformation. I don't know anyone who has said that that's the only way you're going to be able to get armor coatings. The problem is we're taking colors and you're saying here that they will be a purchasable item in halo infinite no one's going to be happy about that no one likes that 19 years of player choice when it comes to customization of their spartan at least when it came to colors and other options like emblems and so on and so forth but you took those away in halo 5 and even then you limited the colors in the emblems so why should I not believe you're going to limit the options in Halo Infinite because you want them to unlock them and then you're going to give us the features later on to do a color wheel. I don't know. What reason do I have to trust anyone from 343 Industries on what they have to say? I don't because it's been 10 years of disappointment, 10 years of betrayal and manipulation. But let's continue on with what Unishek had to say with tweet number three. Why not a hybrid system where I can change my colors and the rest of the coding remains the same? We love this idea, but colors and materials are designed and built into each specific coding. I'm hoping to elaborate on the tech behind this coding in a future community update. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. Bullshit. It didn't have to be this way. You guys decided to do this. We've seen tons of different studios do this differently. Doom 2016. You could change the texture of your armor. You could change the color. You could change the color of your gun. You could change the texture on your gun, but you're choosing to do it so it's marketable. So you can sell it because no one's just gonna spend money on a texture. They want the colors that go with it because you're going to limit them. Next one. Uh, will there be a good variety of coatings? Yes. Although moving away from the old color system was a tough call, it has allowed us to go into greater detail and variation with armor color, materials, patterns, etc. You are going to look great in Halo Infinite. No one cares about looking good in Halo Infinite. No one is worried about that. What they're worried about is their options being limited when it comes to the default choices i'm in full support of going to an unlock system where you earn things but if it's things that we already had in the game for 19 years and it's going to limit the game by default and people's options by default i'm not for it is it cool to look cool yeah is it cool to do it by earning something that was a hard task that you had to work your ass off for yeah cool we got different materials. Cool. We have different patterns. I would be fine with that as a microtransaction because that's new. I'm okay with it being on vehicles because that's new. I'm cool with it being on weapons because that's a thing that's been there. But taking away features that we've had is not okay. Okay, let's continue on. 
Additionally, here are a few other tweets I replied to since the community update. And we covered those a little bit in my original video. They were replies to late night gaming, hidden experience, so on and so forth. They really don't give that much information. They really don't. They really don't help the situation. Next up, uh, obviously this doesn't answer every question out there, but I hope this helps clarify some of the confusion until we're able to dive deeper into customization. If you have any other questions about coding, please send them my way. I'm always reading what you have to say, but you're not always answering because there's been tons of replies, tons of questions, tons of people who have spoken out. You're not always replying. You may read them, but you probably are ignoring them half the time because that's what Postum does. I don't want to compare you to Postum, who has honestly been one of the worst community managers I've ever seen. When it comes to Unishek, I don't want to think that way of you, man. You've been a part of this community for years. I don't want to think lesser of you, but I feel like this is the same old, you know, throw it out there, 343 response. So the best thing you can do right now is get us the information. Show us everyone at 343 get to work because day after day whether it's the mcc whether it's halo 5 or the broad halo community in general people are leaving they're done with the halo community and i don't blame them people are tired of things that we've had established you know staples of the halo franchise being taken away and resold to us in a package these guys will only answer the guys that have over 10 game followers or whatever amount of subs. They, they don't listen to us. Yes, there are positives, but the amount of stuff that it takes away is not worth the trade. And the fact that there's so many people that are blind to this, that won't listen to reason or care about consumers are obviously just shows the immaturity of the Halo community as a whole. The first code you're in will receive download for Halo Infinite content, one Monarch Armor averaging offer $5. The second code you'll enter will receive one Player Emblem, a average offer of $2, $5. So yeah, but it's looking like these are going to cost between, if it's an emblem, it's going to cost $2. And if it's an armor coating, it's going to cost $5. And people think I'm the asshole. This is not acceptable. I don't give a shit if it's $5. I don't give a shit if it's $10. I don't give a shit what it is. And somehow people don't get this. How? How? Ah! Okay, an update on the coding and emblems from the brand promotional legal documents. Good. One, the indicates that codings can be redeemed on one account. Matt, emblems are $2 and appear to be split into player and armor emblems. Wait, what? Hold on. I didn't even see that. <laughs> oh, you got to be fucking with me. Thank you, J. Michael, for showing us this. What the fuck? What's your opinion, Brent? I, I want to hear this. I, I really do, please. So maybe play the devil's advocate. Okay, give it a shot. This isn't really any different from any other free to play game. If it is going to be free to play, which is, is that confirmed? This, the, mul it, the, multiplayer, the multiplayer version is free anyway? to play. Yes, and it's going to be on original Xbox One, Xbox One Series X and Series S and on PC. It'll be free to play. Here's my thing. I know people are going to be like, going to hate my guts for this. I never wanted it to be free to play because th this is the kind of shit that happens when you make a game free to play. They take away features and resell them to you. Now, here's the difference. Destiny has had armor coning from the very get go. I'm fine with that because that's been their gimmick. That's been their staple. That's how they've done things. This isn't Destiny. This is a 19 year old franchise. And now, I don't really want to say I'm 100% defending three for three because of some of their choices they're, they've made. But when it comes to the free to play model, this really isn't any different. Now, right. should they be doing it with Halo? I mean, reselling things that we've had before for free before, that's really our issue right. that we have. The people three for three were probably just sitting there going, you want to do what now? <laughs> and they put on their little shit eating grin and they yeah. knew they were going to have to eat a lot of shit for what they were about to put out there. Saga! 